and welcome. Thank you for watching. I'm Wes, this is Tom, this is the Hippie Explorer. We travel around New England looking for gold. And today uh, we are in uh, New Hampshire at the camp on private land that we stay at. And it looks like it's going to be a nice day, but we better check with the hip B to make sure we know what the weather's going to be like. Hey, all you groovy dudes and you slap happy hippies. This is the hip B, and I'm here to give you the weather. Let's go! Looks like it's going to be a good day. Very hot, about 90 degrees, sunny. And you better stay uh, liquefied, because uh, you don't want to get dehydrated. Hey, you know what the gold prospectors said to the zombie rappers? There's mold in them there grills. Ha 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 ha! There's mold in the grill of teeth, baby. This who's quit. <laughs> Thank you, hippie, for that marvelous weather report. But before we get out on the river, uh, we have a couple errands to run. We want to go down to the store. We got to stop at the post office, you know, errands, things. And we're going to take care of that quick. And uh, today, I forgot to tell you, we've been going over where we want to dig. And we decided we're going to dig in our own spots today. It's going to be like a little competition. See who can find the most gold. I'm gonna use the gold trap. He's gonna use the gold fox. And it's the great prospect to show down too. All right, let's go get the stuff at the store so we can get this day going. Yeah, you can. Trying to get some firewood, but everything's locked up here at the Twin River Campground. Yeah, it's locked. What do we do? We need firewood, so where else can we get it? Up the road there. Right? Unless you like red stripes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get four? What you get? And yeah, you might as well get four. Oh, they sell um, some summer squash and tomatoes too. Yeah. What's it called? Bampa's Woodshed. Yeah. We're back from running our errands and we're out on the river and we're surveying. Let me show you around. We're in this familiar spot here. It's a nice stretch of the river. We like it here mainly because it's comfortable to sit and it's easy to get down to the river. <laughs> right? Well, it is hot already. Yeah. Yeah. It's Hippie said warm. it's going to be around 90 degrees and I think it's already hot. The temperature's gone up a lot. It was cool last night, sleeping, but... Oh, well, look at this nice fan I got. Look at that thing. He's got a DeWalt fan there. And it really... These things are great. If you've it... never seen our show, you've seen this. It runs on a DeWalt battery. <laughs> Just like the type you use in your power tools. Yeah, and we use the DeWalt battery for our Gold Fox, too, so... 
Yeah, that fan blows. <laughs> you can hear it. It's a good fan. When you need some air. There's a little breeze today. Yesterday there was none. But we're going to go down and uh, we're both going to pick a spot. And we're going to set up our, our devices. I'm going to be using the Green Mountain Gold Trap. Now that's a little more difficult to use because you can only set that up where you have enough flow and then th that might not be where you want to dig. The gold fox you can set up just about anywhere and put it right next to where you want to dig if you can get it close enough to the water, if you're digging close enough to the water. So we're going to go look for spots because the battle is on. All right. We're out on the river. Now, this thing you see here is a new microphone. I got one, too. So we can hear each other all the time instead of me fighting later on. Fancy. Moving up. All right, let me show you what we got going on here. Tom's working over here. This is He's going to be using that. And he's Now, this is the hole that we have. We found some gold in it, but not much down the bottom. Um, I think Tom's going to work in here and maybe over in here. And that's where he's working. What do you think about that? I think I'm going to find the most gold in my spot with my piece of chosen equipment. Well, there you have it. Live from the horse's mouth, live from the cheeseburger's mouth. Let me go show you where I'm digging. I've got the Green Mountain Gold Trap set up there with my fancy dancy anchor on top, keep it from floating away. And I think it's got pretty good flow there. Um, I won't know until I run it. And I'm going to be digging. I'm going to be digging probably in and around this boulder, and maybe up in here a little bit. Um, not positive yet. Tom's down there. He's down that way. And uh, it's on. What do you think, Tom? There's this Green Mountain Gold Trap all set up right there. This is going to be an interesting um, challenge here. And we're going to see who gets the most gold today, if the nose knows, or if the gold dance is what's in charge of the whole thing. He thinks he's going to win still. But I really think the nose knows better than the gold dance.
That Green Mountain Gold trap there certainly is a beautiful piece of equipment. Very sleek. And that just pulls out the end and you dump it into your bucket and you're done. Doesn't get much easier than that. Those are made in Vermont too. That's another interesting point of it that's really nice. Is they're locally made. And you're getting a nice craftsmanship with that product, that's for sure. We're taking a break. It's a hot day. Um, I already cleaned out. I ran about three buckets through the Green Mountain Gold Trap. Tom was figuring out why our microphones died. Brand new microphone. Brand new microphone. But we just I just don't know how to work them yet. Yeah, I think we left them. I charged them like three days ago, and I think they were left on the whole time. And then we used them for a while, and they went dead, and we were wondering why. So we charged them up. We're using them now. Trying them again. And Hello. <laughs> so we're still practicing with them because we we're doing a live stream tomorrow night. We want to use them because we needed them last time. But Tom has only run about half his pile because he was trying to figure out what was going on with the microphones. So after this break, I'm sure we're going to yeah. have a crumpet or something. I don't know what oh yeah, doing. they're all down there though. You got to get them. So we don't have any crumpets right now. But he's going to go back down, run the rest of that, and I never looked in my V mat of the gold trap so i don't know what's in mine i looked as i was running but i didn't see anything so I'm a little skeptical but i'll still win no i don't think so <laughs> it's got a little ways to go there yet i haven't been moving too fast on this hot day moving fast enough about 90 degrees out today. Beautiful day. I'm going to finish picking up what I need to pick up while he's doing that. And I may uh, help him fill in his hole here while he's waiting. He's getting down here. Moment of truth is coming. See if the nose really knows. The nose knows. It was, we ran about the same amount of material, I think. It looked like it. Although I'm not too thrilled with what I uh, saw in mine, but you never know until you clean it up. He's scraping every last drop there, aren't you? I'm trying to get every flake I can get. <laughs> All right, I'm shutting you off. Shut you off. Wait a That's second. It. It Time's up. No, I'm still going. <laughs> I still up. got dirt in the hopper. You want me to turn it on one last? Yeah, one last second. He's getting bonus time. All right. All right. All right, we're going to clean them up, see what's in them. The Gold Fox Mini is a breeze to clean out, too. Uh, it's got one of the cream maps in it, and they rinse off real quick, and they throw right back in. Is that my concentrate? Yeah. Okay. I just want to keep track of where it is and whose is whose, just in case. I'm expecting there'll be a clear winner here. Now, I still got a ways to go, but I like to do it like this. 
Ah, don't lose any of my gold. <laughs> I see pieces already in there. Aha. Pieces for the nose. You seeing any more gold in there or what? Yeah. <laughs> like a good amount? Well, it's so far so good. Oh, so you're losing your confidence. We'll see. Okay, we're down far enough to get a reveal here. Here we go. My heart's pumping on this one. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, wow. 14, 15, 16, wow. 17, 18, 19, oh. 20, 21, like 22, 23. Wow. Like 24 colors in there. That's going to be hard to beat. That's going to be tough to beat. Wow. Well, we'll see. That's pretty good, like 24 colors. That's it, official record is 24 colors for the nose. All right, this is Prospector Wes's clean out here. We're gonna see if the gold dance worked. Gonna be tough to beat, but I got confidence on a nice quartz. We'll see. A lot of garnet in this spot, holy smokes. Mm, maybe that'll mean something. Maybe that's good luck for you. And I see him moving gold around in his pan down there, so that's not a good sign for the nose. And this challenge was really about picking the best spot for the gold. Both of the devices we used, the Green Mountain Gold Trap and the Gold Fox Mini, both are excellent gold catching devices, and um, you don't lose much with them, if any. So this is really all about picking the right spot. All right, you're keeping us in suspense. Okay, let me have it, I'll show you. Want me to zoom it in a little? Yeah. There's a one, two, three, looks like four, five, six. That's about it. Maybe That's seven. it, oh my. Maybe seven. Oh. Holy cow. What do you have to say for yourself? I said it wasn't a good spot. Yeah, that's what I would say. And I'd say that's another one for the nose. Are we going to hear that? Another one for the nose. For the nose. <laughs> oh, he's got nothing else to say. Well, I didn't have much confidence in that spot because I didn't see much in the indicator mat as I was running it, so. Can you do? Next the nose. time. Next time. The nose, nose. I would have liked to have seen a little more gold in that run for me, too. Yeah. But yours was horrible. That's why we filled those holes in nice and disguised them. You won't even know there was a hole there. And, oh, he's got something. I'm kinda hungry. Let's see, he's got bacon. He's got bacon! Thick cut bacon. Thick cut bacon. Well, I got a little piece. I have to go in for again, another. We're gonna eat bacon, mm. and then uh, decide if we're gonna dig again or wrap it up for the day. We're just sitting here lounging. See the beautiful river? Such a nice scene. You can look all the way down here. You're like right at the end of the inside bend. So you, you can't see there because of the light. But um, I think we're done digging for the day. I think so. So we're going to uh, pull the gold fox out of the water get it uh, up here and then uh, we may take a ride and get a nice coffee somewhere well, that sounds good let's do it can I have a 
a large hot decaf macchiato with whole milk. Got our beeswax fire starters back again. I used them in a fat wood. Here we are. Um, we've got zucchini. I'm gonna cut that off there like that, right? And we've got this. I see zucchini noodles. Is that what they call that? Yeah. Oh, it's interesting. This is a gadget that was actually given to me years ago and just kind of sat there and we thought, you know, let's pull that thing out and try it. So we're not zucchini noodle experts. This is all new. All right. Not a zucchini noodle expert? No. Okay. It's all new. That's what we're going to do. We've got two more to do. Then we're going to throw it in the steamer. I don't know why I thought it would be difficult to do, but it seems like it works pretty good. Not too bad. Just got to keep pressure on it. Okay, we're going to give that some time to steam. I'm going to time it. Here we are. We got our zucchini going. Okay, this time we got shrimp. But this shrimp is not the cooked one. It's uncooked raw shrimp going in there like that and we've got a lemon here squeeze the juice of a lemon in there This is some garlic powder. If you got fresh garlic, use it, but I don't got it. So we're gonna put some garlic. Generous helping. Ginger. A generous helping of ginger, like that. A little bit of butter, like that. A couple te teaspoons, I guess. A couple tablespoons, Looks probably. Looks good to me. And, of course, Last but not least, well, let's show you. Hippie honey, right there. Hippie will be happy we didn't, and we're gonna go around with a couple tablespoons of honey, like that. That's it, let me give it a toss. Mix that all up there like that and get her going. And we'll be back. Oh, it smells good.
All right, that shrimp is done. We're gonna take that off, put it up here. And Tom's gonna put it on a plate for us. Right on. Cheeseburger man. Let's see what he's got. And we got some noodles here. Oh, those look pretty good. Look at that. Wow, look how long some of them are. Zuka noodle. That's a long noodle. That's rough. Oh, that's a long noodle. Now we got some shrimp. Right over the top. Look at that, right over the top. You're going to pour a little sauce on there too? Oh, uh, I think there's enough sauce on the shrimp. Yeah, okay. If you say so. That's what we're doing. We're going to bring it over to the table and tell you how it is. Here we are. This is different. We've never really made anything like this before. Now, I put some sauce over my zucchini. I got some sauce, too. Mmm. That's actually really pretty good. Yeah, we made something like this before. I don't think we filmed it. But, uh... Mmm, that's good. Light, summery dish. Yeah? One of my favorite dishes that we've made. Yeah. We're going to enjoy this, and we'll be back. I'd like to take this time to thank our members, those who hit that join button. These names you see on the screen are those members. And they are special people. These people help us to continue making these videos. If you'd like to be on this screen, hit that join button and become a member. Thank you. That was surprisingly good. That's a two thumbs up. Yeah, we've made similar things, but nothing, never, nothing like that. We just added a few different things to it. And uh, I love the zucchini noodles. That's a keeper. I'm yeah. gonna have to write that down because I don't. I just make these up as I go along. That one I'll have to remember. Uh, but it was a great day. Yeah, you redeemed yourself with dinner. I redeemed myself. I won there. <laughs> <laughs> But the nose knows. Yeah, we're going to try that again another time. And uh, don't forget to check out thehippie.com. Get yourself some honey. Make that dish. You won't be sorry. Um, and uh, if you can't get enough of us, hit that join button. And you become a member for as little as $5 a month. And you can get access to all of our behind-the-scenes videos. And uh, there's one coming out like every other month. And there may be more because we're going to be doing more little snippets, small things, stuff that doesn't make it into the regular Wednesday night. And that's about it, I guess, huh? Yeah, you've said enough. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Peace. Peace.